WordRise advanced file management and collaboration features, teams can work together more efficiently. In this video, you'll learn how to migrate all your data from Google Workspace to Zoho WordDrive in five simple steps. Before you proceed with the migration, there are some prerequisites you must complete in Google Workspace. You need to create your own Google Cloud app or API to get access to your Google Workspace data. Visit console.cloud.google.com and sign in with your Google Workspace credentials. Click the Active Cloud Shell icon to load the Google Cloud Console. Copy and paste the following code and press Enter. For easier access, the code is also available for you in the Migration Help article. This code will transfer the WorkDrive file to the Google Cloud Platform and execute it. Next, type a unique project ID and press Enter. Authorize Cloud Shell and download a .p12 extension file which will later be used to access your Google Workspace data. The next step is to get a service account email address and OAuth 2.0 client ID. Click the navigation menu icon in the top left corner and access the service accounts tab from the IAM and admin option. From here, you will get your service account email address and OAuth 2.0 client ID details. Make a copy of these details which will later be needed for authorization. Authorize the service account to access your organization's data without your users having to give their consent individually. To do this, visit admin.google.com as an admin or super admin. Access the API controls under the Security tab. Under Domain-wide Delegation, select Manage Domain-wide Delegation. Click the Add New button and enter the OAuth 2.0 client ID obtained from the service account. Then, copy and paste the following scopes in the OAuth Scopes tab. Once done, click Authorize. The next step is to export users from your Google Workspace account. Visit admin.google.com and sign in to your Google Workspace account as an admin or super admin. Access the Users tab under Directory to view a list of users on your Google Workspace account. Click Download Users to download the user list and save it as a CSV file. Once downloaded, you must update the exported CSV file to map your Google Workspace users to WordPress. Make sure all users from your Google Workspace account have joined and are active in WordPress. If the user's email address in WordDrive is different from the email address associated with their Google Workspace account, make sure the WordDrive email address is updated accordingly. This updated CSV file will be used for user mapping later in the migration process. Go to your WordDrive account and access the Migration tab from the Admin Console. From the Google Workspace widget, click Migrate from Google Workspace. Fill in the migration details which include the migration name, service account email address, and your Google Workspace Super Admin email address. Then, click Browse and import the private key. 
This is the .p12 extension file downloaded from Google Cloud Shell. Then click on continue. Map your Google Workspace users to WorkDrive. Import your updated CSV file containing your list of Google Workspace users and their corresponding WorkDrive accounts and click continue. You will see a list of mapped users. Switch to the Unmapped Users tab to see a list of any unmapped users, along with the reason their mapping has failed. To map all users, make sure all users from your Google Workspace account have joined and are active in WorkDrive. Click Continue and choose whether to retain your MyDrive share permissions for your org users, and determine who will be notified once the migration is complete. Now we have come to the final step of the migration process. On the screen, you can see all your map users along with the list of all available team folders. Click Start Migration. You can see the status of the migration on your screen as it happens. Once the migration is completed for all users and team folders, you can download the overall migration report.